Kenny here with Gardening Simplified and as you can see by the skies the weather's kind of turning bad it's August 26th uh, hurricanes are on their way they've not made it here yet it'll probably be tomorrow or something but what I want to talk to you today is about is uh, the peas and beans and, and the progress so you can kind of get an idea of how long it takes and, and what they'll look like now these here are the uh, zipper cream peas and as you can see they're loaded up it's just still going to be a week or so before these pods get ready maybe uh, two weeks but they're loaded up with uh, peas these were planted on uh, July 9th so it's been just a little bit over a month and a half over here beside them we have the Blue Lake uh, green beans <clears throat> and as you can see they're just now uh, setting little green beans on them and these were planted on the 12th so they're just a few days it's been actually a month and a half now for these now across on this next row we have the Mississippi silver skin and these pods are filling out it's it'd probably be a week maybe less than a week uh, these will be ready to start harvesting and, and they're loaded up but these were planted on the 9th too so uh, you, you know it's I mean on the 12th so it's been a just a month and a half this gives you an idea of how quick these uh, peas will grow as far as if you're looking for second crop uh, I say normally about 60 days that gives you a time for a little bit of harvest before a frost would kill them you know so if you have 60 days it's till your uh, first frost at the end of the year it's it would be a good thing to plant these here are my BBR purple hull peas and these are uh, maybe couple weeks away from starting to harvest them so uh, like I say if if you want a crop that you can plant it would be better if you had more than 60 days it'd give you a lot longer harvest because these will harvest for uh, probably three weeks to a month you know after they after you start so if you had 90 days that'd be fantastic which we have plenty of time for this crop to to finish out and and uh, harvest quite a few bushels off these few rows it's right here but I just wanted to give you an update that way you know from the time you plant the seeds till the time that uh, they're they're ready to start harvesting uh, it's not that long because you have 45 days worth of growth from the time the seeds were put in right here and they're basically they're just about ready to harvest there are a few few of the purple hull peas and i can show you a few down in here when they get like this and you see them start to turn purple they're almost filled out this this is maybe three days this will be ready to start picking And these are the lima beans that were planted on the 12th to the speckled lima beans or as we like to say speckled butter beans and they really started uh, setting blooms on them they're they're loaded up but they've still got a ways before they'll actually uh, be ready to harvest so if if you're planting limas and you don't have a, a long time because these are probably uh, I'm going to say about 100 days total, maybe a little bit less, but you you wouldn't get a crop, you know, if, if you just generally said beans or peas, you wouldn't get a crop if you've got a short season left, because lima beans do take a lot longer uh, to set their, their uh, pods. Now, if you didn't trellis them, they wouldn't grow as tall and they'd start flowering earlier. Uh, but and you wouldn't get as many uh, 
of the bean pods from them because the vines would be shorter, of course. But you would have a chance of shortening the days and getting a crop quicker. I hope this is helpful. Uh, and if you'd like to see more of my videos, just hit the subscribe. And if you like this one, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, happy gardening.